when casting the All-Stars, what exactly were you going for in the cast? Was it intentionally set up to be like a regular season in terms of relationships, or did it just happen that way? And who were some of the teams that were considered but missed the cut? Well, personally, I'm not crazy about All-Stars, but that's a personal thing. Uh, Because All-Stars, I mean, you know what we found out that a lot of people did a race before that then considered themselves stars because they get recognized in the supermarket, uh, now start to tell us how we used to do it and why did you change it this time. (laughs) Well, (laughs) and the reason why we change things in every race is to keep people off guard, of course. I mean, Mm -hmm. that's that's, that's part of the trick. But um, there was a little, some people are really fantastic about it. Some people were a little prima donna age, hey, we've done this before, you know, we know how to do this. How come you changed this? Come on, guys, that's not how we used to doing this. And stuff like, so yeah. I like, when you do reality television, I like real people that we have never seen before, that we pluck out of life, mm-hmm. out of the daily life, from all walks of life. To me, that's fascinating. It's, it's better for the viewers. For too. me, it's better, and I, I think maybe the viewers like it better, too. I don't know. I've been crazy about the it. The All-Star Survivor, that was, that was my last time I watched. Yeah, I mean, the way that we cast for the, rea- the, you know, the All-Star version was based on who we thought were the most... Um, the biggest characters, and also the most popular with the fans. Um, we did a lot of research on who people wanted to see come back. You know, we were very involved with the fans. Uh, we're very close with people who run Tarcon, which is a big fan group. They're mm-hmm. fantastic. And They're fantastic. I, I asked them who they liked. CBS, of course, had their say who they liked. I mean, it was a collaborative effort, and I think we came up with our, you know, everyone's favorite. I mean, of course, you can't have. We wanted 20 people because there were probably about 20 people who should have been on the show, but yeah. you know, you got to narrow it down at some point. And I, I was really happy with so it. So a couple names of people that almost made it, but no, not quite. I think, you, no, you I would say. say that. Let me put it this way: We've had at that point, we had well over 200 contestants. You know, and then to narrow that down to 22, you know, yeah. it's not that easy. So I mean, yes, I'm sure. That, I mean, sure. We, look, wh- hang on for a second. <laughs> you know, wh- when we cast this show, we really love all the people that we cast. We love them. That's why we cast them. Mm-hmm. So, n- if you have over 200 people that you love, you know, you got to... <laughs> it's not that the other guys are our favorite children, but, you know, it is just, as Elise said, you know, we had to go through the research, etc., etc., and that's how it came about. And also a lot of people uh, were not available, etc., etc. Right. You have to realize also that some of the people... You know, we did this six years later from the from the <laughs> from the from the uh, initial start of the show. A lot of people were six years older. Yeah. You know, so when you were 45 and all of a sudden you're 51, or you're 51, you're 57, you're a different person. I mean, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so you know, you, you you also think a little bit like you, you, your expectations are are one way, but the outcome is a different way. So you know, it's, it's not that easy to take no. six weeks out of your life. It's Again. And more. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a long time. And a lot people. of people uh, that were on the show originally were single. Now a lot of them got married and they have children and just yeah. a different a you know, We love a lot of yeah. people. The football moms, everywhere. You know, there's a lot of people we, we, we would have loved to have. Soccer moms. Soccer moms. Soccer moms. Soccer moms. Football moms. <laughs> I like that. Football moms. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's maybe the Dutch thing still in me after living most of my adult life in America. So then Amy wants to know if there's a chance for another All-Star, so I'm, ge- I'm guessing no after. I think Bertram said it the best. We really love seeing new people, new people fresh yeah. races. I don't know if we get a lot out of the All-Stars, you know. I mean, it's nice to have them at events and see them again, mm-hmm. but I don't know if it really works again for the amazing race. And if yeah. you see the cast of season 14, then you say, oh my God, they did it again. I mean, the cast is amazing. There's wait. something really great about someone who's never run the race before. Yeah. Even if they've watched yeah. the show, they think they know the show. Once they're on the road, it's they're shocked. And so there's that whole freshness about it and excitement and like sadness and craziness and sleeplessness. And learning how to be with that other yeah, person. Yeah, they think they see, every, they see every episode and they know what's, what to expect, but it's very different when they're out there. The other thing also is when people have done it once before, they know what to say and what not to say. Yeah. Like they give you sort of signal. Oh, no arguing, no this, no that, no. You know, they, 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 manip- they start manip- manipulating their own reality, yeah. which is also not good. <laughs> That's true. Um, what's been the toughest hiccup during filming that you've had to work around? Really, we we had 
in the very beginning there was a degree of paranoia that the press would reveal who, who was uh, uh, a winner of a certain leg.